Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. This time we're taking it to the overdrive. Man, I've been waiting, I've been waiting, I've been waiting to entertain you guys to let you know how much JoJo is coming down our feed. You can literally feel the phantom blood trickling down your face. You can literally feel Dio saying, it's me all along. That is what's going down today. I have a challenge for everyone. You are challenged. Welcome to the challenge. You've been invited to the challenge. This video gets this video gets 30 likes. We will do a music video thing dance. I will dance to one of these JoJo theme songs. We will make a video about it. We will enjoy it and we will make it epic. So leave us a like if you enjoy it. If you don't like it, then I don't blame you. You're just, you know, the dog that Dio fried in the oven. Anyway, guys, let's jump into the episode. Episode four of JoJo Bizarre Adventure of Phantom Blood Overdrive. Let's get it. No relation to Final Fantasy X. Oh, see, it's been a while since I watched the last episode, so I completely forgot what happened. But my boy got fried up in there like an egg, and somehow he, uh, Dio escaped that anyway. He's like, ah, 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 I'm out of here. Let me tell you, if I, if I tackle somebody down a fiery pit of hell, and they end up jumping out of that thing, living alive, and then doing a Mr. Evil face at the end, I'm going to be pissed off of course he's alive look and he's being healed up by his waifu right she's like oh it was nothing for me i just gave him a burnt ointment and now he's healed up 100 percent i'm not even gonna ask how jojo is alive i'm just gonna appreciate his manliness right now this man tackled somebody through a fiery pit of hell tackled him on top of a spear this man has a track history of doing some really epic shit like he jumped over a fountain for like have you ever seen someone jump over a fountain parkour? This was before parkour. This was like in 1600s. And then they fornicated. The end. <laughs> she doesn't know that he's a main protagonist. Like his arms get broken, all that stuff. He's going to be A-OK. -okay. Yo, tell me that is not Dio getting pushed in an epic wheelchair. He done ran into Jack the Ripper. What? <laughs> he's like, look, you don't know who I am, but I'm Dio. <laughs> what the? He's got psychic powers now too? I'm gonna, he wasn't even dead. How many powers does he have? Oh, hell no. What's he about to do? Dio. Dio. Ooh. He's that fist. He's that Kenshiro poke. That's not the Shin poke from Fist of the North Star. It's already poking on his head. I'm not touching you. Look, I'm sure Jim Carrey has it. He's going to be phenomenal, but the sequel is going to be horrible, Joe. So don't worry about it. Cool up with the stick. Let it hit. Oh, maybe that's not it. What the hell? We we want like he was... <laughs> <laughs> like that wasn't creepy. What the hell was that all about? He's walking around like a magician. He's got a magician's hat on. He's eating a sandwich. Uncle Punch. What is up with these pinkies and, and pokes and stuff that people were doing? Like he just knocked the one out of him with his pinky. What the hell is all that about? You see his pose? Like he's about to jump into something. Bro, who put salt and pepper on it? Well, I guess I do. Never mind. Oh, you healed him? Bro, most people say that I, I can lift a rock. This man picks up a freaking boulder talking about, I can even lift up a rock again. How much salt and pepper you gonna put on that sandwich, man? You can fix his arm, but you can't get a shirt that fits Jojo. Oh, <laughs> let me tell you, man, when he said puff, puff, you know, we're not gonna make that kind of joke. Never mind. His 420 is already over. But what he about to do to that frog? He, he gonna play with a frog or something? He ain't gonna kill it. He ain't gonna kill the frog. Oh, what did that frog have to do? What the hell? Can we talk about his drip too? Like he got this top half. He's got a nice little blazer on. It don't get wet. My homin energy. You are in to engage in the mask in Mortal Kombat, Jojo. It is your destiny to flex and do epic poses and then use your homin energy. If you breathe heavy enough on the mask, you may be able to inhale it. I swear that was, you know, that was on the cutting room table when they were coming up with the script. The hell? JoJo's out here forming botanical gardens. He's like, how many times we got to explain to you that JoJo is a main protagonist? Of course, he's got strength and talents. Shout out to them. They haven't even changed the color palette yet this episode. Oh my God. What the f- Yo, what? That is a new JoJo pose we got there. That's not even a natural pose. We wanted that to the collection. Oh, okay. That was disgusting. Oh, and that's even worse. Jack is Jack the Ripper is a, a demon person now. Well, the humming energy is basically the way to kill a zombie Dracula person, but it's activated through breathing differently. So you gotta breathe, you gotta have the sun. Dio dies in the sun, we're gonna fight him at nighttime, cause that's how these work. Best time to fight him. 
Not when the sun's out, but when it's dark outside. JoJo's getting his first bro. Well, his second bro of the series. I don't know what happened to his first bro. He broke his arm, but this is like the training portion. Like he's getting stronger. He's breathing heavy. He's no longer hyperventilating. He dislocated his shoulder in order to punch him. What can't this thing do? <laughs> like, what can he do? Honestly, I'm a little bit confused. I, I thought this was like the one where they start getting like spirit beings like coming out of them. This is different. They're using Haman energy. Maybe that comes later on. I mean, that's why I've seen all the memes and stuff where all the spirit stuff, personas or whatever they call them. The coach is dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny. It was funny. <laughs> that wasn't really funny, but that was funny. <laughs> the coach is dead. That's the someone tore that coach up. He didn't have to kill the horse. What the fuck? Whoa, what the? Come on. Who does that? You was inside the damn horse? Why were you inside the horse's neck? And why are you playing around in that thing? What is this? What is this? How stinky was that? He's got evil minions. What is this, like the villain from Power Rangers? Y'all could just step out in the sun. You ain't got to fight in the tunnel. Ain't y'all in the tunnel? Like, y'all could just step out at any time? No? We're just going to fight him in the dark? Okay. Now he's just showboating. We we already know that don't work, buddy. We ain't stupid. We done, we done caught you in the first episode. We know we can't shoot you and, and stab you. Okay, so I'm glad we're mentioning the whole sun thing. Because I was about to say, like, we could easily just... You know, walk out into the sun and it's all good. But uh, he's like, no, we're just gonna, we're just gonna throw a whole carriage in it, you know, collapse the damn tunnel, bruh. My dog's about to get drunk and kill you at the same time. He's sipping on a little bit of wine. He's like, this almond cutter gonna cut you up real quick. But meanwhile, let me drink some of this Alize and have this disposition of how I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Yo, he hit him with a freaking flying knee. He flying knee. <laughs> Critical hit. <laughs> I, I don't. I feel like a lot of these scenes are unintentionally funny, but they funny. Like the dude just freaking flying need him. Like, why he gotta do all that? Why can't he just destroy him? Why he gotta not drop a thing? What's that gonna do if he drop it? If he drops it, it's gonna be game over. Like when you're playing the video game objectives, do not drop any liquid or you will die. Okay, so now he's explaining it. If you drop a drip of this, I'm going to leave you in the tunnel by yourself because you're worthless to me. Is Apelli supposed to be like from a different region? Like he's like English or Italian or something? What in the shit is that? What? What, what is that, man? He's a freaking flying bear trap now? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This man's going to fight in the dark? Jojo, what is going on? You know when the color palette changes in JoJo, some ish is about to go down. Oh no, he about to tear you up. <laughs> Kiss me through the phone. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was going to say this for like the end of the episode, but I promise you, this was out like during like the 90s, early 2000 period. What? The, it just ended abruptly like that. I actually paused for a second because I was like, wait, it's really over? Like, it's done like that? But uh, if this was out during like the early 2000s, uh, late 1990 period, there's a really good chance that this would have been like super, I mean, it's super popular right now. It's super popular right now, but I can see like kids like literally doing the breathing motion, trying to do the... <laughs> Instead of doing the Kamehameha, like, they instead of doing the Kamehameha with their friends, they do. They literally just trying to breathe on somebody, like, I'm finna mess you up. But instead, we know they did Kamehameha's and all that stuff and watched Sailor Moon. I don't know. I feel like if it came out in an earlier time, it would be even more popular than what it is now. But it was cool. It was dope. You know, it threw me out for a loop for a second with the little training montage that they had. I didn't think we were going to even have training montages like that. But here we are. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my live reaction to uh, this episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. If you're new to this channel, you can click on the subscription button. Hit the bell and you'll be notified when the very next episode comes up.
about. Check out my social media links, my Twitter and my Instagram. I'm pretty active down over there. You can join our Discord too as well. Where you can talk to me offline and, you know, the rest of the community of the Red Army too as well. We're growing. We're growing. You know, don't expect you to join in there. You see about 550, 11 people in there. You know, you're just going to see a few people talk. But when you join there, it's going to be a few more people. Holla if you hear me. Holla. Anyway, boy, Mr. Red signing out. Hope you guys take care. See you guys in the next episode. And peace. Jojo Pose. How did he do that? He said... I got to do the other way. It's going to be the thumbnail. <laughs>